A new battle is brewing between President Trump and Congress after he declared a national emergency to get funding for a border wall. And tonight, Democrats are threatening legal action by declaring a national emergency. The president will be able to divert funds to build an $8 billion steel barrier along the U.S. southern border. Meantime, the president has also signed a spending bill to keep the government open. That's good news for the 800,000 federal workers who went without pay during the 35 days shutdown, the longest in U.S. history. I would assume supporters Sheena Lashuto spoke with the wife of a Coast Guardsman who is breathing a sigh of relief tonight. She joins us now live in our studio with their reaction new tonight. Well, it's been a tough few weeks for a local Coast Guard family in Warwick. While they got their paychecks, they were still left wondering when or if they'll go through another shutdown. So tonight, they're thankful. We first introduced you to Sarah Stepilovich in January. It was day 21 of the shutdown. Her family was preparing to live without a paycheck until further notice. Just like most Americans, we have a mortgage. Sarah is a proud Coast Guard wife, the only military branch that continued working without pay during the last government shutdown. It's obviously been very, very stressful. While the record-long shutdown came to an end after 35 days, a possibility for a second still lingered. It was hard because everyone's like, oh, the shutdown down's over, but it wasn't. Yeah. It was a band-aid. Stipilovich was dreading the possibility of going through this again, but to Sarah's relief, Congress approved a budget deal Thursday night just in time. And we're the kind of family that it's really hard for us to ask for help or accept help. Um, so that was hard for us to step out of our comfort zone. Sarah's son has special needs, so for now, being a stay-at-home mom is her full-time job. That's why the stress hasn't completely gone away. What are we going to do yeah. if this happens again? She says the possibility of another shutdown will always be in the back of her mind. you got to just be thankful that right now it's over. Sarah says her family is now focused on giving back to different food banks and organizations since so many offered their help during the shutdown. I'm Sheena Lushuto, Eyewitness News.